What is a Notion database and how do they work? Let's get into it quickly. You can think of a Notion database basically as a collection of information that can be accessed and viewed in multiple different ways. Today we'll be taking a look specifically at my ADHD daily dashboard and how the databases function within the different pages. So this template uses all one database combined with different filters and views to show you different things. And I'll get into what I mean by that. So this is the central database here. Um, it can be accessed on any of the pages. This view on the home page is going to be a more comprehensive view, including all different categories that you may have a task or an event in. So for instance, this calendar view is the exact same information that is in this table view. It just looks different. You'll also see that at the top here, we have a few different views. So this is the weekly calendar. It is going to show you everything. This over here is going to be just things that are marked as events, whether it's a work event, an astrology event, a partner event, etc. And then this weekly non-work tasks is going to be anything that is categorized outside of a work task or a work event. You can either add new items by clicking the plus sign on the calendar or you can go down here and click the new button as well. The cool thing is if you do decide to add something new on the calendar, for instance here, it will already have the date set on the day that you selected. In addition to that, for instance, if I go over here to the home page and I add a new task under here, it is automatically going to categorize it as a home task. Of course, this home section does have a few different categories that will show up and you can see those by clicking on the blue filter button and then going to category. Here you will see that the things that will show up on our home page are home tasks, home event, partner event, errand, and birthdays. You can check or uncheck any of these if you would also like to see them on this home view of your database. You'll see here on the home page, we have a home tasks and events and a finished. So if you mark any tasks as done by clicking the checkbox here, you will see that it will navigate to the finished area. If you uncheck it, it will go right back. There are also filters set up on the main page. If you go here, for instance, say you don't want to see any of your work tasks or work events on your main page, click the filter button select category and uncheck work task and work event which will take them away from your calendar you may also notice in the personal page that there is a habit tracker this is also a database however it is not connected to the main one it is simply its own database with the calendar view all you have to do to make this function is click new day which will add a day for you and you can either select the checkboxes right on the page when you complete a task, or you can click the button and it will mark it for you. If you go over to the work slash content page, you will also see another view of the main database. However, this one will only show up things marked as work tasks. You can also set it up so that you have content tasks or notion tasks. Um, you can add anything else to this page that you want, but currently it is set to show you your work tasks and events. And here you will see that we have a few different views for this database. We have all the tasks that are coming up this month. We have a not yet completed. This will show everything, whether it is a month or not. We have a completed task section where you can go to see things that you have finished. There is also a work events tab and a this week's tasks if you only want to see things that are related to this week. You may notice we also have the same sort of views up here on the calendar, so it will show you your weekly work tasks and events, your finished tasks, unfinished, and weekly work events only. Also, you will be able to mark things as done. They will go off of the unfinished tasks and right over here to the finished tasks. Again, if you uncheck it, it will go right back. Databases are a very powerful tool that can make using Notion so much easier for you. If you would like any help in using this template, modifying the databases, or you just have any questions, please come and join our Discord. I will pop a link in the description. And if you have not downloaded my beginner ADHD daily dashboard, it is a fantastic starting place for all Notion newbies, especially those who are ADHD. Thanks for watching and have a great day.